it's a sunny day in Carrick and Beverly and I have got a choice. We can either do boat projects, a chat to you about various aspects of sailing, or we can do a training day. Hmm, I wonder what we'll choose. I quite like whichever one's the warmest. Prudence came to the rescue and she said it should be training day. Beverly and I are just about ready to go out. <laughs> Beverly and I are just uh, ready to go out. Because we're putting the cameras up, it's taking us a bit longer. We've also pulled the reefing lines through. Hopefully that will bring, uh, make sure that the sail uh, goes up better. <laughs> just, oh, there's all this. And I hope to goodness, we actually managed to do the training we're supposed to be doing today. <laughs> right. Hopefully that's all done. So now for the important bit, I've actually got to get the sail up. <laughs> okay, I'm approximately to end. I need to come a bit more to port. All, all my winches are up. Okay. And free, hopefully. Okay. The beam's missing your head by about two inches. Stop. Stop. I'm going the wrong way. Hang on. Got myself backwards. Yeah, that's great. tension off. Just the boom lift. There you go. That'll do. Okay. You can hoist a bit more if you want. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's put some wind on her, yeah? We're just going to put some wind on her. Yeah, okay, so if you'd be prepared to release the main sheet, I'll take the support. <sighs> Starboard has the harbour. <laughs> Ready to release the main sheet. All right. Let her go. Let her out. All day. Let's see how we're doing with this. There, we're close hold. Right, we've got quite a few um, telltales up. Yeah, I'd leave it there then. Ha <laughs> 
Okay, so we've got the uh, main up and um, Let's roll the we're going to roll the jenny out. I have the jenny line handy. Uh, front side. Front side. Oh, I'm just going to release. That one's fine. looking to see if because uh, we're going to stop at the second reef which is there okay on a pilot off me back on me winching <laughs> I'm a winch wench you're a winch wench today that's looking pretty good isn't it Okay, we've currently got two reefs in the Jenny and two in the main and uh, we're making a very tasty four and a half, five knots, so that's not bad, but um, <laughs> Talk about the sail balance. The sails must be fairly well balanced because the autopilot isn't doing very much at the minute, but uh, it's one of those days, sometimes you've been in the marina for a while, you haven't been sailing and you come out, it takes a while to settle back into the routine and to be either, we just give ourselves a few minutes to settle into the routine again. But it's a particularly gusty day. It is currently force five, no, six, <laughs> no, five again. Uh, so we picked a hell of a day to come sailing. What is the Patrick Lane manoeuvre? And why are we even talking about it? Well, it's a little bit of a story. I'm going to keep it short because I want to get back to the action in the video. The Patrick Lane manoeuvre is something we came across watching a, a video of our friend Patrick Lane, the solo sailor and things like that. And he mentioned something about reefing, which has always been a bit of an issue for us. Um, we find that when we're out sailing, if there's any wind whatsoever in our sail, um, it's very hard to pull it down. Sometimes we have to use the winch to pull the reefing lines to pull the sail down. It's heavy going and I don't like using winches I always think if something feels heavy and you start winching it, you're just stressing it and it's going to go pop. So I'd rather things move freely. Um, the other issue we have with reefing when we're out there is generally you have to face the boat to wind. Um, we normally would furl the jenny away. We'd normally put the engine on. We'd normally go to wind. Um, the sea tends to swing the boom around while you're dropping the, the, the mainsail down and pulling the reef in. It's a bit of a to-do. So we were very interested when Patrick Lane said, if you want a reef, here's the easy way to do it, just heave to. And we thought, that's interesting, we'll give that a go. But it then begs the question, what is a heave to? So, taking one step back, uh, heave to is a way of bringing a boat to a stop while it's out at sea. It doesn't actually come to a complete stop, it doesn't stop to zero. It comes down to about one or two knots and it generally runs down to leeward, sideways onto the, 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 the wind. Uh, we're going to demonstrate it with our advanced computer modelling here and um, we'll show you exactly how all that works. But um, the thing about the heave too is what you're going to do is you're going to get the main sail out of action completely and in behind the Genoa. Um, the advantages of a heave too is it only takes a few seconds to set up. Once you've set it up the boat is stable and safe. Uh, there is no pressure in the main and the sail moves up and down the slot very very easily. And when you've got it to where you want to go, you can drop the heave to and get back to sailing within seconds. It's very easy. So you don't need to worry about furling the jenny. You don't need to worry about starting the engine. And you don't need to worry about heaviness in the sail or stiff lines or pressure or boom swinging. Um, another aside about heaving to, historically, it's a bad weather tactic. Um, boats that have been in things like the Fastnet race and the Sydney Hobart race and the New Zealand Tonga race, uh, big events where boats got a lot of boats got into a lot of trouble the ones that generally got okay through the race got out of trouble were the ones who heaved too it's a well-known safety tactic and so it's worth doing just for that the nice thing about a heave to boat is it's generally stable no matter what the sea state is if you want to go downstairs and pop on the kettle make a cup of tea or even get a bit of a kip if you've got plenty of room to leeward you can do that in a heave to boat so it's got a lot of advantages to us so back to Patrick Lane, that steely-eyed missile man and his manoeuvre. How does it work? So what we have here is a little yacht, which is close-hauled for our, our discussion purposes. The wind is coming that way. 
and the seals are both on my side. So the seals are both facing starboard. Now the whole point of a heave too is to leave the foreseal where it is. You don't want the foreseal to move at all. So when you tack the boat normally you would bring both sails to the port side in this instance. What we're going to do here, we're going to tack the boat and bring it around to this configuration so that the Genoa is still sheeted on the starboard side but the boat has actually come round through the wind so that the Genoa is on the wrong side of the boat and the mainsail is pointing more or less into the wind. So the mainsail is now effectively dead and the rudder at the back of the boat is opposing the Genoa. The wind is trying to blow the nose of the boat that way so you use the rudder to try and force the boat that way and you counteract the force of the Genoa. You turn the rudder until the two are exactly balanced and then you lock the wheel off and the boat will just sit quite happily bobbing back and forward at that kind of angle and very very slowly running like that. But the thing is there is now no pressure on your mainsail so you can just drop reefs up and down. Whoops! There's now no pressure on your mainsail so you can drop your reefs, move them up and down, you can shake them out, you can put them in and then when you're finished your reefing and all the rest of it all you simply have to do is release. Oops. It's a bit easier on the real boat, trust me on this. Uh, all you have to do when you're finished is you simply release your Genoa, bring it to this side of the boat, and all of a sudden you're close hold on the other tack and the boat just goes. So just to re-emphasize the point, with the wind coming like that, I leave the Genoa where it is on the wrong side of the boat, and I let the main come in behind it so it's sheltered, and I oppose the turning force of the boat using the rudder to force the boat back that way so it sits stable, rocking back and forth like that with the turning force of the rudder balanced by the turning force of the foresail. Once I get it like that, the main is stalled, the boat is stable in one direction and it doesn't sail properly, it just sits where it is and that is a heave too. So with all that information, let's get back to the video. We're now six starting to gust seven, so we're going to uh, drop part of the main and put three reefs in. And we're going to do it by heaving two. Right crew, let's do it. Okay, are you prepared to uh, hoist in or uh, ease the main when I tell you? Yeah, I'm ready to ease in the main. Do I need to bring it into the centre line first? Uh, bring it round as we come through the wind. Okay, okay. heaving two. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Right, backing against the uh, turn, ease the main out as far as it will go. Let her go, let her go, let her go. Okay, so uh, we're currently heaved to, the wheel is hard over, uh, opposing the foresail, which is trying to push us around. The main is out of action. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop the main to put the third reef in. Oh, that's the plan. That's the plan. The wheel is hard over. Just keep it there, do nothing with it, okay? Right. Do you want the glasses? No. Okay. Okay, so that's that. I've got my third reef lines here and here. Yeah. So. Okay, so I'm going to drop the, uh, the main. Okay, they're clamped off. One, two, three. And they're looking. They're looking quite good. Not looking too bad, is it? Oh, well, we've now got our third reef in, so we're going to try completing our tack and seeing what it's like under sail. 
Well, it'd be a good idea if you jammed the halyard off first. We never stopped the engine actually, but we'll just leave it running. It'll do it no harm to generate electric, will it? Especially with our um, electric bill. Uh, well, it's not electric bill, our uh, batteries, but I'll be honest. Um, the, um... That's that one in place. Okay, just give me a few seconds on this one. Okay, I'm ready to complete the tack. Ready you are, Skipper. Right, okay, so I'm um, turning the wheel this way, yeah? No, we're going to complete the tack, we're going that way. Okay. So I'm going to let the Jenny fly. Okay, uh, completing the tack. Okay. Whoa. That'll do. Okay, I know. It's alright, we'll do, we'll do. Because we're going to have to do another tack then. All right, let me get set up. Ready? Okay, tacking. Jenny's free. Come on, babes, get through the turn. Right, we're through. Right, you've got your ropes uh, I know, I know, we're starting to write. Uh, caught on the uh, main. Have I? Um, the main sheet's caught. All right, all right, I'll start it out in a second. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'll have to go forward. going to ease it into the middle. It's not like we're concerned we're getting the best out of the wind today, is it? No. So you can ease it off a bit long. Oh well done, give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to do my heave too, so I'm going to tack. Yeah. And then I'll be reversing the rudder. Correct. Okay, so ready to heave? Ready! Yeah, bringing the main in. I'm reversing rudder. Yeah. It's hard over. Rudder hard over. Right, and as you can see, we've more or less stopped. And we've stopped. And look at look at the main. It's still loose in the block. Yeah. There's no power in the main. No power in the main. Now what I should be able to do is I should be able to lock it off. Lock it off. Using the wheel, and now I can. If Beverly had gone over board, we could have dealt with it. Yeah. So we're now going to go out of the heave two. So we're just going to complete the tack. So the main zone slightly. Yeah. Not a lot. Okay, that's ready. Completing the tack. Okay, tacking. Come on, babes. And that's it. We're under sail again. Woo. And that's basically it. Okay. So it was just a matter of dropping the sails, going back into the marina, and dodging a couple of other boats.
The wind was across our slip, so we used another of Patrick Lane's manoeuvres and rammed the pontoon. is in focus because I can tell you now we were doing far too much to uh, worry about the cameras being in focus but I tell you, oh golly mullions are great cold weather gear but I am absolutely sweating under here right can you hurry up and sweat quicker we've still got a boat to tie up all right well I've got to get it on but hopefully you've got something there <laughs> 